started talking to somebody or you're just starting to get to know somebody you gotta give that man the opportunity to court you to woo you to show you why you should even give them the time of day I'm gonna show you how to slay your first date you gotta show up there looking like the boss ass queen ass bitch that you motherfucking are period what's up gang welcome to a new video I'm so excited for this video it's finally another styling Video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. We're on the road to 1k Okay, so there's one thing that I've noticed about our, our generation, right? A lot of people are okay with just somebody telling them when you want like to hang out the first time It's usually come and see me or let me come and see you or let's watch a movie and you will literally just sit sit in the house watching a movie it's not enough anymore. We're no longer accepting that. We're being courted the right way. Dear men, you can't just come and think that you got it like that. You gotta put in the effort. If not, then don't waste people's time. Don't play with people's daughters. Yeah, so today, different outfits, just for different types of dates. So we're doing some first date look ideas. Let's get into it. Before we start this video, I wanna talk about two things. One, these looks can be applied to any type of date. It's not only limited to first date. That was just the whole essence of the video though. Your first date, your first time going out with a person. Secondly, I wanna make it known that ladies, we are the prize. It is not our duty to impress the people that have asked us out on the date. It's their duty. In fact, we just need to sit there and look pretty. This whole thing, offering looks, is just more empowering because when you look good you will feel good and you will feel more confident going on a date with the person the rest is really up to the person who asked you out on a date it's their duty to woo you and it's their duty to impress you we don't really need to be impressing them they need to be impressing us that's it i think regardless of where you're going who you're gonna see personal hygiene it's so important. It's important in any situation. I personally love being told that I smell good. It's one of my favorite compliments. It's not only smelling good, it's being clean and making your skin look nice and making your skin look glowy. With that said, we need to make sure that we're smelling nice, we're looking nice, skin is looking nice, oral hygiene. So yeah, I mix these two. These are my two day creams. We have the Nivea Perfect and Radiant Even Tone Day Cream and then the Johnson's um, face care even complexion day cream. They're both SPF 15. So you still have to put on SPF. This is the LA Go luminous glow skin illuminator these two You can already see how that's going It really turns brown like I love I absolutely love that so I, I'll just show you on me because I'm not wearing foundation or anything. There we go. Oh Yeah it gives me nice vibes. And when you're done, your skin will just be looking mad glowy. This is nice for no makeup days. I hate close-ups, but glowy or what? Like, love it. Everybody has like their different scents that they like, and I guess over your clothes. I mean, you might have a specific scent that you like, but what about under your clothes? Are you spraying your body? Sometimes even if I'm not going anywhere, after I shower, I have to spray myself down for some reason. And I also use like cheap ass body sprays, by the way. They smell good and they're cheap. I feel like body spray sometimes, it might come off as childish, because of the scent and because like you know whatever like there's such thing as a grown woman smell you, you get what i mean these are the ones that i'm currently loving the yardley london um lace forbidden playgirl sensuous i actually used to use playgirl in high school and come to think of it i don't think i ever really had a grown up smell this is definitely way more on the grown up side i just wish I wish you guys could smell it. This one is a little childish. Actually, it's quite childish. This is the Revlon Pink Happiness First Love. This is the also heavenly Strawberry Kisses one. I've talked about this before um, 
in my previous video actually sometimes i literally spray them over each other but the ones that i'm really loving i can't get enough of this i always buy this and the the lace one because it really just gives me i'm so sorry that you guys can't smell but i'm just gonna smell it because i really love how it smells just grown women vibes i actually spray sniff them in store even if they don't have a test i sniff them in store because why should i pay for something that i don't like you know these are all all under 35 rand i believe it depends on where you're buying it but it doesn't last on your body that's just one thing about perfume body spray you just have to keep on spraying it but yeah Strawberry I'm going to create a look right this look i want it to be cold you've probably already seen the look because i probably already edited that into the video i don't plan on using a lot of things i really want to focus on the eye so my foundation routine i don't really like i don't really change it up it's usually the same thing almost every single get ready with me has that same foundation routine so i'm just gonna speed right past that I might have put too much foundation. <laughs> I don't know why, I just kept on just kept on going. What are you guys' thoughts about men men's opinion about makeup and stuff? Before I used to think, why are you even in women's business like that? <laughs> but then now I think about it, I'm like, you know what? Okay, people are allowed to have their opinion. Really full face, whether you want to do full face is all the way up to you. But I really want to know. This is like in reference to those people, those people who say that they prefer girls with less makeup. Yeah, that's fine. You can have your preferences and you can have your opinion. My problem is people who try to impose them on other people. Don't go and trash makeup saying that you hate girls with makeup and then you go and pursue a girl who wears makeup if you don't like makeup go and pursue a person who doesn't wear makeup that's just as easy as it is when it comes down to people that we like yeah we want to look nice for them but now you have a whole ass opinion about a girl who doesn't even think about you stop you're making my head hurt so I might have done something really ghetto the other day that I'm about to try again today. I don't know if this is ghetto, but I don't, like I, I've never really figured out how people get a glossy lid. Is it like a type of eyeshadow that you wear? I really just put gloss. I'm using this um, Catrice Cosmetics Superbia palette. It's an old palette. I'm gonna use this shade, it's this shade. It's like a really dark purple. I'm just gonna set my lid quickly. Okay guys, I don't know what happened, but I lost the clip of me applying the lip gloss to my lid, which was pretty much the most important part of this look, and I don't get how I lost it. I switched everywhere. But it was really just a matter of applying the lip gloss directly to my lid, and then I guess blending it out with an eyeshadow brush. I can't believe I lost it. Wait, I don't know where it went. <laughs> Take a different brush. Back to the palette. Probably the only one of the only shades that I use on this palette. It's a silver and I absolutely love it. Just gonna take that and lightly dab. This is not even the right, this is not the right brush for it, but just really lightly. Only in the center. And there you have it. Really just that. Not anything more, not anything less. Let's do lips. If you're planning on kissing this boy on this date, then maybe you should not do this lip. I have not kissed in like 20 years now, I think. Jamie. <laughs> Brown pencil. Yes, it's pretty much done. Pink lip gloss. Stay with me here. And lastly, the clear lip gloss over it all.
one. We are going to the movies. I think I said the movies. Going to the movies or going to the cinema is such a traditional date night idea. It does it, It's not even just limited to people who are going out for the first time. I think it's one of the best ways, honestly, to go out with somebody for the first time because it's in a public place. There are a lot of people there. I wouldn't recommend you going out with somebody that you just met or somebody that you just met off the internet i don't know these days it's just not safe you don't really have to say anything to each other while you're watching the movie and then after that you can really just like go out do something really get to know each other i love movie movie nights but i I'm a single gal. I'm a veteran in this dating game here. It really just depends on the weather that day as well. And if you live in a place where it gets really uh, pretty warm in the evening, then you can wear like a lighter one, like the one that I was wearing in the intro of this video. Another reason why I love this look is that it's quite, it's very simple, it's very covered up. If you're like me, then you're gonna really accessorize, say with like necklaces, the watch, maybe um, a bag, maybe a belt. I would recommend a belt for this. This doesn't have belt loops because they are a very childish pair of jeans. Just match your belt to whatever jewelry you wear. Since I'm wearing silver jewelry, then I'd wear a silver necklace and a silver belt, like a belt with silver accents on it. That would be really nice. So yeah, let's move on to date look number two. for dinner is one of the most common first date second date hundredth date and you're trying to look nice if you're going out for dinner with a guy let's say for the first time i think you should look feminine and just look pretty i'm wearing one of my favorite colors i'm wearing this with heels so i'm just wearing several shades of pink right now it's a very pink affair you'd have to wear this with a jacket but i can't for the life of me find the right jacket for this it will most likely get cold so you need to wear a jacket and it just exudes femininity yeah you better take me out on the second and you better take me out on the third if i'm gonna look like this on the first date don't sleep on it don't don't sleep on it love this ah, i'll do a little twirl for you another one okay 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 stop it's cute it's flirty it's feminine what else do you need what else do you need if you're trying to have a meal during the day then this might not really fit the occasion you know during the day you, i guess you want to be a little more casual but still look nice look pretty and yeah so now we're gonna do brunch or lunch if cute and casual is your vibe then this is it for you I love simplicity of outfits like this. I think the older that I get, the more that I really just want to make my outfits simple but make them glam at the same time by accessorizing. I would wear a necklace with this. Um, let me see. Here's an option. It's just this three layer necklace and even though it's very glam for this outfit, I would personally wear it. I know that this for some people it's not really their cup of tea but I would personally wear it. It's very out there. It's very, it's quite dramatic but um if this is not your vibe then i would recommend just going for like a smaller dainty necklace like this and there we have it a date brunch date outfit if you're not a heels girl then i would say wear this with sandals but i decided to wear it with heels um and i would definitely go on a date like this 100 percent show him a little bit of skin i feel like you just look like a grown-up when you dress like this you know and then you know that I had to. You know, you know that I had to. Okay, so what you mean to tell me is that nobody wants to take me out of the date? Is that is that what you mean to tell me? Nobody? Okay. Next date look that we're doing is a picnic. I I I'm holy boss. Ain't no other. I might have just done something. I might not have. I don't know. It depends on how you're feeling. Let me know in the comments if you would prefer this without the turtleneck inside or with it because this is just a normal play suit doesn't have pockets unfortunately but yeah this outfit looked different in my head but otherwise actually i would actually wear this i just went and looked at this in the mirror the reason why i chose a play suit for a picnic is because you know when you, you go on a picnic you're sitting down on the ground you don't really want to like flash him it's too soon anyway it looks like it would be really nice for a picnic the next place that we're gonna go is 
a museum or an art gallery i'm not sure which one which one but let's do art gallery slash museum i feel like all i need at this point is a glass of this but i have red heels on and now i'll be carrying a red bag i think when i think about an art gallery especially i think a little bit sophisticated at the same time kind of street I don't know if that makes sense. I wear white and black all, pretty much all the time. And so I just decided to add a little bit, of, a little pop of color to this. I have never ever been on an art gallery date, but I would absolutely love to go to an art gallery. Love this, Parisian girl. An alternative would be to tie this up, but I just iron this shirt. I'm not, I don't want the smoke. I don't want it. It's so simple, but it's so chic at the same time. If you get what I mean? If I went on a date like this, then the man must know that he's, I'm not one to play with. <laughs> you like to look nice, you like nice things, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's how you slay your first date. You go in with confidence, and you go in with style, and everything else follows. If he is a smart man, then he's gonna like you either way. I mean, look at you. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I've really been wanting to do this video for a long time. Check out my other videos and just stay on my channel. Just binge. Come on now. I mean. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.